Please welcome founder and chief executive officer of Vercel, Guillermo Rauch. Imagine it's 2014. You've got this great idea. You start coding locally, but then you hit wall after wall after wall. Suddenly, you're spending more time wiring up routing, compilers, clusters, wrestling with complexity rather than working on the idea itself. This experience was the founding insight when I started Vercel in 2015. The world's largest companies, Amazon, Google, Facebook, they had internal infrastructure that allowed them to build and ship fast. They defined the protocols and the frameworks. The rest of the world didn't have access to that. Vercel set out to democratize that advantage. I'm proud to have achieved so much of this vision. Today, Next.js is the most popular React framework in the world with 13 million downloads per week. The Vercel platform serves more than a trillion requests per month for over 10 million customers. But we're not done, not even close, because the same situation is now happening with AI. This is perhaps the most important transformation we'll see in our careers, the move from pages to agents. Another way to think about it, going from pixels to agents, or from foreground to the background. And no matter where you are in the stack, this paradigm shift changes everything for developers. So what I want to share today is a survival guide for this generation of developers. Not because I think our jobs are going away. I truly don't. But to survive and thrive, this rapid AI shift requires we change how we think and create. Because everyone's being disrupted. Even the giants haven't figured it out yet. So first, let me walk you through what's changing across three dimensions. First, the cloud is fundamentally changing. The infrastructure that powered the first wave of the web doesn't quite work for this next wave of agents. We had a cloud for pages before. You deploy static assets to a CDN, you optimize for page load time, and Google rewarded fast pages with high rankings creating a flywheel of more business, more conversion, and more organic traffic. Today, we need a cloud designed for agents. If there used to be a CDN for pages, now we need what I call the CDN for tokens. There are more changes, though. Compute used to optimize for load time. Now compute is optimizing for long periods of thinking time. More of our work was, in the past, one shot, request and response. Now it's more background, multi-step workflow compute. And now, instead of traditional search rankings, we're embedding intelligence everywhere. Agents are meeting customers where they are. And so that brings me to my next point. Interfaces are fundamentally changing. Before. Interfaces were predictable and deterministic. You designed a dashboard or app, you knew exactly what users were going to see. Every pixel was specified. Today, user interfaces are generative and adaptive. They're created on demand, tailored with context, and personalized to the user. This week, Snowflake announced their integration with Vercel's generative UI agent, V0, which creates data visualizations on the fly, making it easy for anyone to understand their data. Frontends aren't disappearing. We're just generating them on demand. The user experience matters more than ever. What's changing is how we create it. For decades, the trend has been moving away from the code itself and towards the end goal, 
delivering great products and experiences. V0 and partners like Snowflake are enabling this move from a code first to a code last world. Finally, who can build software is changing. Software development was restricted in the past to a few people who could code. You needed to learn syntax, understand command lines, data structures, IDEs, and master complex infrastructure. Now, everyone can build software. We can all communicate what we want. The barrier isn't technical knowledge. It's clarity of intent. Prompting and understanding how AI works is the new literacy. I used to think that JavaScript was a great democratizer. Framework-defined infrastructure platforms allowed millions of JavaScript developers to become cloud engineers. Using JavaScript, you push it, you get globally optimized infrastructure. AI is a superset of this. It democratizes even further because we can all yap, we can all talk, we can all prompt. So now we can yap a little bit more productively. We can now embed intelligence into Slack, Zoom, Teams, and Snowflake. Agents are meeting users where they work and talk, dramatically reducing friction. When you put agents in existing workflows, and treat platforms as primary prompting services, we can shift from tens of millions of developers to a billion developers. As a matter of fact, I recently spoke with a company that's been in the cloud space since the cloud was born. Their founder was literally in the room where cloud computing was invented. They told me that the organization has one rule. They don't do code. Their internal communications were just conversations about what to build, sending ideas back and forth. There was no GitHub, no infrastructure discussions, no implementation talk, just building products. The hard truth, don't get too attached to your individual skills. If your skill as a kid was, well, I can do math in my head really well, awesome. That's a great asset. There's also now a machine that can do that skill even better. So I see coding as one of those individual skills. Now, it's the meta skills that matter today for developers. They're the ones that machines can't easily replicate that answer these questions. What problems are worth solving? What experiences could be better, faster, more delightful? What's about to become possible that I can start working on now? LLMs can and will be the practitioners of many of your skills. You have to up-level yourself. That means becoming more full stack, front-end, back-end, middleware. These divisions are blurring. Data engineers can now build amazing interfaces. Front-end developers can now orchestrate complex backend systems. You have the opportunity to become an orchestrator of a variety of agents. You don't need to go as deep into each line of code, but what you do need to do is ship. Shipping is a distinct skill from coding. Shipping is the meta skill. Shipping is first about building end to end. It used to be that coding dominated in importance because of coding ability scarcity. AI pushes you to go further and do more. Building means thinking about messaging, designing, coding, QAing, teaching, marketing, selling, pivoting, iterating. Shipping is about storytelling. And yes, this matters in data as well. The value of articulating what you want clearly can't be undersold. And that all starts with knowing how to communicate your intent. And finally, 
Shipping requires taste, the experience, the craft, the attention to detail. These matter more than ever. People think of taste as this inaccessible thing, that this person was born with taste or not with taste, but I see it as a skill that you can develop. Try to quantify how much time you expose yourself to watching people use your products or even watching how people use other products. This is one way that you can develop that muscle of taste. In a world where AI can generate infinite variations, the ability to discern quality will be a gold standard skill. This is my counterposition. Everyone talks about AI for productivity, which, sure, it's very important. But I believe AI must also be in the service of quality, not just productivity. I often reference a fantastic quote from Snowflake's former CEO, Frank Slutman, where he shares that when increasing velocity, excuses are inevitably made about quality. The quote is, we can't possibly move this fast and maintain quality. Well, we would agree because we're going to do something better, move fast and race quality. It's such a good line. I encourage everyone to embrace this attitude. Just because we can generate code faster doesn't mean we should lower our standards for what we ship. In fact, we should raise them. So when our customers ask, what should I build? There are two dimensions I tell them to care about, productivity and quality. They must coexist. Productivity without quality is just noise. And quality without productivity means you're probably getting left behind. So all this talk about shipping raises the question, what agents should you ship? Let me quickly give you some real world examples that we've recently shipped. Support agents that resolve common questions from customers instantly. Abuse agents that analyze threats and recommend actions. Content agents that transform conversations into structured drafts. And the data analyst agent we just announced, turning natural language into SQL and visualizations. These agents enable you to raise the quality bar while increasing velocity, which is the differentiator. On the quality side of the equation, agents can help concentrate judgment. Agents reserve human time for decisions that actually shape your product and your business. And over time, the bar rises because the system learns from what your team accepts, edits, or rejects. The V0 and Snowflake partnership is one example of an amazing agent in the AI cloud ecosystem we're building. But the world is building so many more. I believe every organization and individual should have the power to create and deploy their own agents that unlock productivity and quality for their work. Today, everyone has the freedom to own a domain name and deploy to it. And as we reimagine the web and the internet, we must ensure it that its services remain open and decentralized. The first wave of AI has been dominated by mostly closed models, proprietary SDKs, and centralized interfaces. Developers need an open AI cloud with access to models, platforms, and infrastructure. The future of developer experience isn't about coding less, necessarily. It's about shipping more. More ambitious products, more innovative solutions, and more value for users. Agents are all about removing the friction between idea and reality. And that future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed yet. So your job, my job, all of our jobs is to distribute it to bring this future to your teams, your products, and your customers. 
the tools are here. The models are ready. The question is, what will you ship? Thank you.